What are we doing today? Moving hay. Moving round bales today. Our last 12 round bales are going out the door. Uh, this hay has been sold for about a month and the guy's been coming and getting it one trailer load at a time. He's got three or four loads, so this will be his last load. So we will be done with hay season officially. Uh, then we're gonna load up our skid steer. We're gonna bring it back home, get it cleaned up, put away for the winter. And uh, that'll wind up our 2019 hay season. Okay, this guy's supposed to be here in about 30 minutes. So we're gonna go over and get the skid steer started and have the jump started the last few times. Got a slow drain on the battery. Got to track that down and see where it's coming from. Hook yours up first. Just swap me. Across the horizon Into the misty morning sun Nobody asked you where you are going Nobody knows where you're from Here is a man asking the question is this really the end of the world? Seagull, you must have known for a long time The shape of things to come Now you fly through the sky
seagull you fly across the horizon into the misty morning sun nobody asks you where you are going nobody knows where you're from now you fly through the sky We got all the hay moved. Uh, we got our skid steer brought back to the home farm, got it put away. Um, so I had a little bit of time left over, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a, an equipment review on some of the equipment that we bought back in the spring. Okay, we'll start out with the Case 2290, uh, since it's up here in the front. It's been a good tractor. I have no complaints about this tractor. It was a good trade. It's the one that uh, I trade the John Deere in on. That three-speed power shift transmission works great whenever you're working in hay. Uh, you get into a little bit of a thick wind roll, you can downshift without having to clutch. As far as the John Deere 466 round baler, this baler is an excellent baler. Had no problems at all with it all summer. Rode several round bales with it. Even done some custom work with it. And it worked just like it should. Uh, back last winter before we got started in hay season 2019, I went through it. And I replaced some chains on it, replaced some sprockets, uh, replaced some teeth down there underneath. And uh, But all the belts are good on it. Uh, we had nothing go wrong with this baler whatsoever. Going over to the Holscher bale accumulator. Uh, I love this piece of equipment. It is so handy. And there's not a lot that has to be done to these things. There's only two major moving component parts. You got your table that will dump the hay and you got your lift arm over here that sets the hay up on the table again i've never run one of these before so we did have to do a little bit of learning curve to get the timing set on it and it's actually pretty easy to do once i figured it out you start out by measuring right here and you measure out your bale length now this is going to have two bales on it obviously and my bales are all 38 inches in length so you measure out your distance, which you can tell by where the paints wore off, where our end of our bales come to. The key to it is making sure that your trip arm is right where it needs to be in line. Because if you don't, then when this next bale comes out of the chute and this arm is on its way back down, it will catch the bale as it's coming through. And we did have a little bit of problem with that at first, but just a matter of getting the manual out and uh, doing the adjustments that need to be done. National 1086, um, this is one of my favorites. It's a good tractor. As you can tell, it's our loader tractor. We use it to load all the round bales and the square bales out of the field. We use the skid steer to unload them at the barn. The 485, it's a good little tractor. It's, it's done exactly what we bought it for. We used it to rake and tread hay with in the very beginning of the season. It does a good job. Um, I am gonna put a canopy top on it this winter. I've got the roll guard for it already. I just gotta buy the canopy top and put on top of that. But uh, it's a really good tractor. I went to an auction and I come across this mower. 
We bought this mower really cheap. It's a good mower. It's a new Holland. It's a 462. Uh, I didn't lose any cutting width with this mower compared to what that mower conditioner was. It's the same cutting width. The only difference is it's not a conditioning mower, obviously. Uh, this mower is manufactured by Kuhn. So it's a good mower. Uh, you can see right there, it's a Ford New Holland. But as you can tell, it is manufactured by Kuhn. So that's just a quick overview of the equipment. Uh, it's not an equipment tour, it's just an equipment review. So uh, when we start doing some of our wintertime maintenance, uh, I'm gonna bring you along for that and show you what all we're doing. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of work on the 2290 first. I do have also, I forgot to mention, there is a, a drain line for the air conditioner compressor up in the top of the cab that stopped up. And a real humid day, you will get some water draining inside the cab, so I gotta get that fixed. Uh, but other than that, you know, we had a good season. Uh, other than the weather, the weather was not our friend this year. We did not get hay wet, luckily. Uh, watched the weather forecast and we didn't get the first bale of hay wet, but it did prevent us from cutting hay at times when I needed to be cutting. So, but other than that, we had a good season. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, check us out on Facebook. It's listed as Commonwealth Farms under Facebook. Uh, Give us a like on there as well, and we'll be talking with you again soon. Good enough.